everybody and welcome back on my YouTube channel. I am Giovanni Perin. And today we are still working with the minor blues form. I will show you how to play a chord tone solo using extensions plus some other scale solo technique that you can use for embellishing your lines. How are you doing guys? I hope you're having a great day. Today we are still working on the minor blues form and the material is taken from my new book called Easy Mallet Vibraphone and Improvisation. If you want to follow the exercises with us, you can download for free the backing track from my website or even listen to it for free here on my YouTube channel. So no excuses for not to practice improvisation from today. Last week we talked about how to comp with extended chords that has the ninth and the sharp five, or the flat nine, the sharp nine, and the sharp five. And today we will apply those new voicing we use as our pages for building lines. We will start by learning the arpeggios we need throughout the whole keyboard using a four note grouping exercise. Okay, so here's the first exercise for you guys. We will start by playing arpeggios picking from the third and then up to the ninth and then going back using eight notes. So C minor from the third, three, five, seven, nine. And this has to be done three times. Third time. Then here we switch to C7. That can be either a C7 sharp 5 flat 9 or a C7 sharp 5 sharp 9. So we can either arpeggiate this structure or this one. Then we move on to our F minor taken from the third. And then back to C minor from the third. minor 7 flat 5 if you want you can use the ninth but I prefer to stick with the original one and then we play G7 altered so from the third it will be 3 sharp 5 7 and flat 9 or 3 sharp 5 7 sharp 9 again it's up to you all right, now that we know the basic exercise, let's try to play it with the backing track. C minor. C7. F minor. Back to C minor. D minor 7. G7 and C minor. chord I use was a G7 flat 9. So instead of using the altered chord, you can use a dominant 7 with the flat 9 and it works great as well. The second thing that you want to try out are the inversions of each of those five arpeggios. We will start by playing the inversion from the lowest possible position. That's the lowest position that we have for C minor 7, 9. And uh, it starts with the fifth. So we have 5, 7, 9, 3. Then we move on. 7, 9, 3, 5. 9, 3, 5, 7. 3, 5, 7, 9. And then so on and so on. Let's repeat the same exercise 
with the F minor 7 9 chord. So we will start with the 9th as a bottom note. And we will have 9, 3, 5, 7, 3, 5, 7, 9, 5, 7, 9, 3. And then again, same thing. back this exercise is really the game changer because it will imprint the notes of each chord so that you can instantly recall them when you are playing a solo okay let's do the same for the c7 altered and uh, we will start with the lowest possible position which is sharp 5, 7, uh, flat 9 or sharp 9 and 3. Let's use the flat 9. So we have sharp 5, 7, flat 9, 3, 7, flat 9, 3, sharp 5, flat 9, 3, sharp 5, flat 7, 3, sharp 5, 7, flat 9 and then back where we started. go back we can repeat the same exercise over the G7 let's use in this case the sharp 9 so we have 7 sharp 9 3 sharp 5 sharp 9 3 sharp 5 7 3 sharp 5 7 sharp 9 sharp 5, 7, sharp 9, 3 and then we are back where we started and then we come back now that we know the extended arpeggios we can try to play a solo with them. Remember the rule to be follow is that we want to connect the chords by moving to the nearest note of the following chord. Try to stay simple at the beginning and try to play some motives dynamics use the roots for each chord so at the end we will end up playing five notes the root the nine the third the five and the seven okay let's see how it sounds
guys, I hope this lesson was helpful. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button and put a like on the video. Of course, if you liked it, you can support the channel by purchasing my books, my music, or even booking a private lesson with me. We'll see each other next week with another great lesson about mallets and improvisation. Thanks a lot for watching and bye bye.